Guys, this is um, Kaleo Way Down We Go, live on 89.3 The Current. Oh, yes, Runa. Brother, exactly. tell me. Same thing. Do we get what we deserve? Oh, we get what no, we deserve. And we're down. guys from Iceland <laughs> I would never have guessed I was gonna say like Mississippi <laughs> oh you let your feet run wild the time has come as we all go down yeah but for the fall my do you dare to look them right in the eye well, could say we run you down, down to the dark. Yes, and they we can run you down, down to the yes, oh, 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 and they we run you down, down to the oh, oh, Yes, you can't crawl no more. And we're down, we go, 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 and we're down. That bass vocal, this guy, this guy's bass vocals. It's a really nice profile that we're getting vocally. Um, talk. Let's talk about our lead singer for a bit. Um, the way that he's singing, I, I talk about making a yawn when I'm teaching people, especially with classical technique, or just teaching people how to relax the larynx in general. If you yawn, you feel your larynx, everything in here kind of shift down a little bit. Oh, there you go. Happy Wednesday. Hope you're not doing work because I'm about to put you to sleep. Um, you feel that drop in there, right? Now, if you pair that with a really balanced breath, you get that uh, operatic classical sound when done well. Generally, this is a big generalization. When you pair that with breath pressure, muscular breath pressure, and then you keep everything else above the larynx relaxed, that's when you can get a sound like this. Lower the larynx, pressurize the breath, but make sure the sound feels like it's still coming from the body, creating a cavity. Then you get that compression, which paired with a little bit of distortion in the chords, gets this really, really nice, beautiful, raspy sound. And it's it's that southern, you know, country-ish, you know, uh, bluegrass, slow bluegrass sound, right? It's really awesome. <laughs> Can't stop yawning. Oh, Janelle, you're so sweet. Thank you. I'm glad you're here. It's also like the perfect position for uh, getting into really light head voice. You know, it's it's funny because a really uh, gruff, you know, grounded chest voice position is the same for the male voice to get into. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But it's not the greatest for having like a, a a mixed sound, you know. But that's why we hear all of these really cool, uh, like I, I guess country sound generally singers. Uh, with this blues, bluegrass, bluesy sounding singing, get, do a lot of that going right from chest voice into head voice because it's just a really good position to stay in for both of those different vocalisms. It's easier for flipping. Oh, 
You guys remember the last time we watched Floor's Masterclass? And she talked about the jaw never sitting in front of your up your lower lip, never sitting in front of your upper lip. Again, just like we were watching BTS earlier, a great example of a singer who doesn't overdo it, <clears throat> right? Doesn't go too far. Gets just the sound they want, just the sound they need, just the sound that they figured out works for their voice, that makes a sound that works for their music. And and there you go. Not too forward. Not too back. It's just right in the middle. Tommy Kerberg would disagree, that underbite. Yeah. Hey, so... There is an exception to every rule, right? There is an exception to every, every rule. Every rule. But you want to you wanna know the principles, the basics, the building blocks before you break them. <laughs> 